they're beautiful, beautiful snakes. Look at these. Mark is gonna enjoy these a lot. They're gonna go to a much better hands. Hey, pretty girl. Not like a white tiger. These are Hey, Kukapara. <laughs> Real pretty, yeah. yeah, my puffs that I have came from these parents right here. See, look, my daughter is already doing venomous stuff. Isn't that great? All right, here we go. Just gonna do it. What's up, guys? How are you? We're here in the sneak room and i am getting rid of the green mambas so some future plans mang shans need new cages uh this kid on offer up posted another one of these vision 433 online so i'm gonna go buy that this week and then we're gonna set up two new cages here for the mang upgrade and i'm just I love these green mambas. They're beautiful snakes. I well, thank you, Dingo, like, obviously. But it's just, they're just too freaking dangerous. They're too dangerous. They can escape very easily. I just don't, I, I, like, can't sleep at night knowing that I have these things in my house. Especially with, especially with this little baby inside of here. Gotta stay safe. They make me freaking paranoid. Everything else in this room is awesome can't really get out of the cage like i mean they can't get it out of their cage it's just like i don't know i just don't like having them in my house especially with all these new things happening i want to get rid of them set something else up so without further ado we got to bag these things up diy how to bag a snake by yourself and the help of your girlfriend you're gonna do it for me babe right no but yeah you can hold that open with that for me so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take them out one by one and then I'm going to put them in the bag. Close them up with the gloves, probably. Ew. And then that'll be that. Yeah, I know. I got to clean it all up. All right. You got that? Yes. You got it. Perfect. See, look. My daughter is already doing venomous stuff. Isn't that great? Okay. Let's see here. I think they're both underneath this. Just want to be 100% sketchy, sketchy. Dude, I just, they're beautiful snakes. I just, I'm just over keeping them in the house, man. They're just too, too deadly, too freaking sketch, man. Like, Dingo, dude, thank you. Like, they're beautiful, beautiful snakes. Look at these. Mark is going to enjoy these a lot. But they're going to go to much better hands, okay? I can't, I can't risk can't risk anything, you know what I mean? I'm about to have a daughter. Right, there it goes one so far. So yeah, like I said, I'm about to have a freaking kid, you know? I don't want these dangerous, dangerous, super skinny, slender snakes in the house that can possibly get out. I don't want to take any risks at all. Everything else is pretty big, girthy-ish. Those zebra spitters up there, probably getting rid of those too. So if you got your venomous license and you want zebra spitters, holler at your boy. Mama number two. So just need to make sure there's no holes in anything because one of the bags that I brought in today, Gianna was looking at it and it had a hole in the bottom. So be careful guys before you bag up animals, make sure there's no holes in these bags. That is no bueno. So we're gonna get this next one in the bag, double bag both of them and then put them in a transfer box so we can bring them over to McCarthy's safely. Here we go, Mamba. Number two, beautiful, beautiful snakes, man. They really are. They're just, look at this, super slender, super fast, insanely deadly snake. Ah, your boy, your boy's gotta be on the safer side these days, man. Can't be having mambas in the house. And this is completely my decision too. This has nothing to do with anyone else. This is me wanting to be safe and keep our family safe, right? Yes. You don't have anything to do with this. And I could have sold them, honestly. I could have... I could have sold them, all right? But I don't even want... I don't even want to have the responsibility of that. I don't want to sell them to somebody that's not experienced with Mambas, have something happen and be... I just don't want that to happen either. So I'm giving them to the McCarthy's 
so they can put them in their snake room they can enjoy them people can come to the facility visit them check out the mambas they used to have mambas back in the day but a couple of them died so now they got brand new ones i found out mark the other day wanted a pair so i called him up i was like hey bro i will gift you my mambas please take them all right so check it out mambas in here we're gonna double bag both these guys be very freaking careful with bags man you always want to make sure you don't touch the bottom part where the snake is at. So obviously they can bite right through these bags and that is not cool. Some of the most prone circumstances you are being bit is bagging up animals and getting them ready to be transferred. So be very, very careful. Man, look at this. That's the coolest thing he's got in here right here, man. What, a python? Yeah, obviously it's a joke, Mark. Mamba's going in here. Yeah, right. All right, nice. That's the same size cage you got the other one. Yeah, that's, a, that's an upgrade for sure. The puff at him? Real yeah. pretty, uh, yeah, my things. puffs that I have came from these parents right here. Crazy. Look at that. <whistles> Smoker. Mamba's to their new home. Very cool. Yeah, dude. I'm excited. I'm excited too because now I don't have to have nightmares. Oh, I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, did I close the cage? No, I didn't. And then I had to like go check it. Oh, you got them in the house? Yeah, well, I, oh, I keep shit. everything in my house. I mean, it's an escape proof room, but still, it's like, it's, it's still a little sketch, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so mama number one, I'm just going to uh, let her out on the floor. They're pretty chill, they're not bad at all. Not bad at all. Good size, though, right? Yeah, beautiful, perfect size. Yeah, like they're not super small, not no. super big. Yeah. Super workable still. And they're not bad. Not bad at all. I was watching this new cage. I was watching you and um, Dingo. I think it was these guys. Yeah, these guys. And how they were crawling with the hook and uh -huh. how they point them upwards. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I never realized that. I yeah, that Dingo was, was telling me something how if you like go towards the cages, they'll go up and it kind of helps them chill out because they're trying to go up towards somewhere rather than being like, oh, hey, where am I? Coming up here. So it makes them a lot easier to handle. Check this out. Very nice. Definitely an upgrade for these guys. This cage is awesome. They are gonna dig it. New home, guys. Let's get this other one opened up. I'll, you, uh, I'll open it up and I'll just dump them out and I'll let you do the honors. Yeah, what's Paul? I was talking to Paul the other day. And Paul was like, I was like, dude, I was like, I was like, you know you want to, anybody that wants mamas right now? And he's like, oh, Mark wants some. I was like, oh, Yeah, I just told him too. And then you call the next day or whatever, I was going, holy shit. Yeah, that works out perfect, man, because, I mean, I love these things, but ugh, I just like sleeping at night, too, you know? Um, I used to have the snakes in my my house also, and they would, um, oh my god, that's fascinating. Of course, that's going to be fascinating. It's a mama poop, nice. Just me. Cool. Yeah. It's very nice. You know, they just go up. Super cool. Yeah, right? That's cool. In you go. Oh, and they blow, oh, they blow back inside. So oh, yeah. They're going for cover. Here we go. It's tour time. Time for a tour. Been around a while. I love the cages. It's so pretty. Help me a but I pretty much I didn't really participate. Oh my god. This is a Siberian lynx. lynx. I like the lynx. So cute. They're fun cats. They really are. You know Moses. Moses. What's up, dude? He's just chilling. Birds. Hey, Kukubaba. So I 
named him Slammer because the guy got thrown <laughs> in the Slammer. Oh, that's And I funny. named the Cougar Repo because it got repo. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I got stories. Hey, Slammer. That's awesome. White lion. You pretty girl. Not like the white tiger. These hey, are mamas. not people known this or anything like that. Tiger? Yeah, that's a lion. That's a lion. Super pretty. <laughs> No more mambas. No more mambas. Are you bleeding? <laughs> Alright guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I feel so much better. Mambas are going somewhere where they're going to be appreciated. People can go visit them. Great. Mark and Aneth, you're welcome. Thank you guys so much for taking them. I really appreciate it. And uh, it just it worked out perfect. Mamba free. I'm excited not to worry about it. The main shans get new cages soon, so stay tuned for that video. The setups are gonna be sick. I'm gonna redo their cages. Very, very cool. And I'm gonna go through the whole process. We're gonna put waterfalls on them. It's gonna be just super epic. But that'll be a later video. So stay tuned, guys. Until next time. Thanks for watching.